Hello chaps and chapesses, and today we're fishing on the River Kennet, which is not something I get a chance to do very often. kindly had a lovely invite to the Hungerford town and manor water. I've never fished it before. It's a beautiful piece of main Kennet along with a bunch of carriers so I'm really excited about coming here today. So let's see what's going to happen. So I've just spotted a really nice brownie down here. It's now July so we're allowed to uh, we're allowed to nymph and I've just seen him take two nymphs so I'm just going to put a small nymph on see if we can't tempt him up. So today I am fishing with my nine foot nine three weight hardy ultralight LL. This is the first day I've had a chance to properly use it in anger. Not with this extra fringe. It's the perfect weapon for the job. Gotcha. Oh no, he came off. <laughs> oh, he just rose straight up and tried to eat that off the weed. Oh well, we'll find another one. Came straight over and had a look at that. Where's he gone? Come on, eat it. Yes. Plain, sir. <laughs> you follow that downstream. I love it. Little wide. Love it. It's not done yet. That's a beautiful fish though. Okay, a lot of wild fish on this That's a very good sized wild fish, Robin. Some of the wild fish are big, I think. Doesn't like you. Ah, I can understand. <laughs> oh, come on. Fantastic! That's a gorgeous fish! Okay, two points. That does not count because it's below 14 inches towards your tally. <laughs> Fantastic! Well Excellent! That was a good way to start. Yeah. Well, I've walked further down. There's an awful lot of water to cover here, but I've just spotted a fish on the sand down there he's just basking in the sun so I'm going to try and put a small pheasant tail nymph on his head he's not he's not taking anything off the surface at the moment but it's a really good sized fish just seen him just seen him sat in front of that rock there I have another crack at him just quickly I'm just going to get over the top of this fringe so I'm going to strip a little line off first Gotcha. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Oh, going downstream. That's a cracking fish. He's trying to stuff me under that tree there, though. Come on, come this way. No, come out of there. Oh, no, he's going to put me in the tree root. I know he is. Come on. Where's he gone? He's 
He's got me round this tree. He's still pumping upstream though. I'm gonna to have to try and feed him back down through that tree branch. Oh, <laughs> this is not going to end well. Come on. Yeah, he's a good solid fish though. Come on, downstream we come. Downstream we come, yes, nice. Nice, gotcha. Let's see if we can't have you in the net, buddy. Powerful fish. No, come on. Yes. Now that is a beautiful Kennet fish. Awesome. Let's have that barbless nymph out of your head. Steady there, boy. He just hoovered that as he came past. And away you go, to swim and fight another day. Fantastic fish. He looks happy enough. Right. Let's see if we find another. Well, that was pretty exciting. There is something magical about fishing nymphs. I do love nymph fishing, if I'm really honest. And to get on some of these fish now, at the beginning of when we were allowed to start nymphing, is very cool. Looks like they can't resist it. So let's crack on. So I've just spotted another little wild fish, which is just a really good sized wild fish. Just on the edge of that fringe down there. A bit tight in here. Just basking in the sunshine. So many different facets to this fishery. I love this overgrown bit. Don't think that fish wants to play. Oh, missed him. Well, spooked the hell out of him. But it's such a beautiful piece of water. You know, you've got submerged logs and pools and riffles and mill pools and there's just a lot of different streams so really excited to continue exploring this. We've got a very cool mill pool here. Mill pools are always really interesting to fish because you get the current swirling backwards and quite often the fish are pointing downstream which some people don't figure out so actually to fish this apart from the tail well, there's a cracking fish in the tail there Come on, we're gonna get low and see if we can't put a little nymph on him. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, he wanted it so badly. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, so much fun. Oh my god, there's a bigger fish. There's four, five, six fish in there. Looks like he was competing. Just all by that old log. Hmm, okay, I didn't spot the rest of them. Oh, fantastic. Just keep him away from that log. I'm gonna keep him on a fairly tight rein here. I don't really want him heading off anywhere into the blue yonder. I'll try and land him just here, I think. God, I put the fly in. He chased it round. Missed it. Look at the colours on that thing. It 
So my rig today is the, as I said before, the Hardy Ultralight 9 foot 9 3 weight, which I'm really glad to have the extra range in here to get over the fringe. 3 weight gives a lovely presentation. And I've matched that with a Rio Precision 3 weight. And it just loads the line up really well for close quarters fishing. You don't have to get too much line out to actually get it to load. He's not happy. Come on, fishy. Let's get you in quickly. Yes, there we go. Another clonking fish. Amazing. All right, let's have that fly out quickly. Barbless hook, straight out. Let's have you straight back, bud. There you go. See you later. Sorry about that, but thanks for the fun. Well, I could probably stay here and catch a few more fish out of this lovely mill pool here. But you know what? There's so much more of this river to discover. I think we're gonna keep on going. Mother of God, there's a massive fish just cruised over there. That is a big old fish. Oh no! Gotcha! Wow, God, no hesitation, absolutely came and hoovered that. As soon as he saw it came into his field of view, he just came up and smashed it. Not quite sure how I'm gonna land this though. Don't want him going downstream. Because otherwise he's gonna hit that bridge and then I'm gonna be in real trouble. Wow, that's a crossfish. Whoa, buddy. Great take though, absolutely fabulous take. No, don't go down there, don't go down there. God, it's hot. He's not happy, he's not happy at all. Okay, let's see if we've got a chance in here. He's gonna try and stick me in this undergrowth though. Come here, buddy. Oh no, that was a disaster. Just knocking him off balance there. Just a little bit further. Yes! Yes! Oh wow, that's a tank. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Just left with a tiny bit of skin. You're very lucky with that one. There you go, bud. Off you go. Thank you. Well, that's pretty exciting. Wow, well that's been pretty magnificent so far. The fish are really on it. They're hungry, they're feeding hard, and they're hitting the nymphs. I'm watching them literally cruise this way and that, smashing the nymphs as they come down. Put the nymph in, bang. I'm just taking a little breather on this old bench. I'm just gonna soak up a little bit of the atmosphere and actually have a chance to really enjoy where I am. It's quite special. So the fly doing all the damage at the moment is this little beadhead, jighead, pheasant tail from Fulling Mill on a tactical hook, so it's barbless. And my word, they are jumping on it. Anyway, let's try and carry on fishing. Sun's come off the water now, which is better for the fish. Doesn't make it quite so easy to spot. 
Hopefully we might start seeing a few rises quite soon. God, it's a pretty piece of river though. So I'm just creeping up one of the arms at the moment. There's a nice duck there. It's a lovely typical piece of Maine Kennet. It does split around an island up here and there's a carrier on the other side, but I love the fact that this now suddenly gets a bit deeper in here. A bit more mysterious. A bit of weed left over from weed carts, which probably provide good cover by checking the back of that. We'll just keep working our way up through here and see what we can see. There's a little bit of colour to water, but nothing too bad. I can still see, see the stalk. I love the high fringe as well. The high fringe gives you lots of cover, so you can actually get quite close to these fish with the longer 9 foot 9 rod. Just hook it over the bank. There's one sitting a foot and a half off this bank. It's a good fish. It's a very tight cast. I think I very successfully spooked him. Hold on, Pete. Oh, there is a big fish sat on that white sand spot about three quarters of the way over the river. It's, all I can see is the back end of his tail going backwards and forwards on the sand spot. And that looks like a pretty big fish to me. Pretty close. Oh no, that wasn't the one I was after. <laughs> uh, lovely little wild fish. Wasn't the big boy, but you know, we'll do for a warm up. <clears throat> Let's have him in quickly and release him. Got you snaffled that hard, didn't you, buddy? Right, hope that didn't spook our big friend. Okay, let's have another go. That's a good drift. <sighs> not sure whether he ate that or not. Oh, very hard to tell from this distance. I think I need to give him a bit more lead. Oh, 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 come on! Oh! Followed that halfway across the river. Gotcha! Oh, <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to have a battle on my hands here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's a cracking fish. Oh. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Yeah, he was very, very eager to eat that. Little bead head has it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Come, 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 come. Fabulous. Oh, it's so exciting to see them come and eat it like that at range. Come on, fish.
Come on. Come on. Oh, he's right in the top of the beak. He might come out. He's just in that top of the beak. Come on. Oh, that's going to fall out. Don't fall out. Don't fall out. Don't fall out. Come on, head up. Come on, head up. That was it epic eat of note chased it I love it when they chase it downstream like that <laughs> it gets me so excited come on come on come on it's not ready yet Head up, head up, we've got a chance. As Mr. Buckley would say, got a chance. There's plenty of power in this three way though. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Wow, what a fish. What an incredible fish. Let's see if I can do a quick lift. Eyes out. It's quite a slab of trout. Oh wow. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. Come on, back we go, bud. <sighs> wow. I've got to say guys, that is my day done right there. I don't need to do any more fishing today. Wow, that was absolutely phenomenal. Just on that sand spot right over there underneath the tree and he just raked across the river, smashed the nymph. Oh, I hope the camera's not shaking too much because I'm still shaking from that pitch. Whew. Oh wow, that doesn't happen every day. What a special place. I think I need to have a break now. Well guys, it's been a phenomenal afternoon's fishing here on the Kennet. Um, it's a river I don't get to fish very often. It's very different to the, uh, to the test and the Anton that I normally do fish. I've had such a wonderful time. I've caught some cracking fish. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And as usual, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one. See you later.